Hello everyone and welcome to LEGO Robotics EV3 Mindstorms Part 2. You saw it coming, we are building a car. So with this car, we are going to make it as basic as we can. Note how I am not using the instructions. I, cause like actually, I'm just gonna like do a quick time lapse here and I'm just gonna show you the first thing the instruction says. Let me get my book. So this might not be the most exciting thing, although it is a good start. The video will not end here. We will actually build a car, although this is a good start. As you can see, it is very durable. Like, it, it's not broken. So that block was pretty cool, but now we're gonna get extra cool. We are going to build a car that rolls forward, backward, turns, sideways, does cool stuff. So. What you will need is the brick, two large motors, two large wheels, all of the framing that you have, ball bearing holder and the ball bearing. You will put these together and I will show you what this does in a second. And then the rest of the parts, you can just take it when you need it. We're gonna need a lot of the black parts. I'm not gonna take out the exact amounts because there's a lot of them. So first thing that we are going to do is find a way to put the wheels on and mount the brick in the best way possible. So to mount the brick, we need to make this frame, and I'm going to make it the simplest way I know how. By taking these black parts, you need about four black parts to do this first little part. Now this might not be the most sturdy frame, but it is a very easy one. Now. If you put this over, there will be a delete. You can see there are two points where those dots meet. So you can take two of these long blue pieces, four, sorry. So you can take four of them. You can put them where they go on the brick. Notice how you put, if, as you can see, there's like a little bit of a line right there in the middle. So you want to put it so the line side is down on the brick. Because if you do not, it'll go too far in and it won't attach to the frame. And also, I not, and also it's hard to take it out. So you put those in the four corners. This is probably the hardest part, mounting the brick onto the thing. It's very hard to match it up perfectly in the lower bit at the right time. There we go. So as you can see, it's very sturdy. The brick doesn't make it flop down. And this is where the ball bearing comes in. Now I'm gonna flip this upside down. I'm gonna flip this upside down. You take one of these, you stick this into the ball bearing, and then you do the same on the opposite side. Then you go in here, that's good. Okay, so the next step is that you take these, you line them up side by side, and you make it so one of these pieces fits them, that's good, and then you take some of these black pieces, you put them in.
Okay, great. So you have that, and then you take this, and then you attach it into there. So you can take two, and then you go right here. One, two, and then you just stick them together, just like that. And then here is your full frame frame for the thing. I almost said your full form full flame. So the next thing that you need to do is take two of these axles. They have to be the same length, equal length. And then you put your hand on one side of on the one side of the tip of the motor and you push it in until you feel it touch your hand. Then do the same thing with the other thing. With the other axle. Until you have it like that. And then you do the same thing with the wheels. You fit the wheel in. And then you just push it in until you feel it hit your other hand. And that's all you need to do to build a very easy basic robot that works. Um, the last step actually take two wires wires and you attach them to ports B and in to port C. It must be port B and C that you plug the wires into. I'll get a little close up right here. As you can see both of the wires are plugged into B and C. It doesn't matter which um, motor is plugged into B and which one's plugged into C as long as they're plugged into B and C. So let's take this outside for a test ride. So it is very easy to turn on our brick. All you have to do is push that middle button and hold it until you see those red lights. It'll say starting. It'll say starting for a while. We'll have a quick time lapse. Ta-da, see that was quick. Okay, so then the next step is that you put it right on the floor you can do it outside or inside. And then you might be thinking that you need to do all of these crazy hard to do programs, but it's actually very simple. The brick comes with a pre-made program called a demo. So push that demo button and then watch your robot drive. So that is our basic robot. I hope that you liked the video. Please comment, subscribe, and watch more of our robotics videos coming out every Tuesday. So hit that like button and the subscribe button. Come back next time, and I'll see you again.